Hi everyone and welcome to the seventh lecture of the tree series. In this lecture, I'll be discussing the problem company queries two. The problem says a company has n employees who form a tree hierarchy where each employee has a boss except for the general director. Your task is to process Q queries of the form. Who is the lowest common boss of employees A and B in the hierarchy? We need to find the lowest common ancestors of two nodes A and B. Right? This is the sample tree given and these are the queries. Right? So for this tree, for nodes 4 and 5, the common ancestors are 3 and 1. And the lowest ancestor or the ancestor with the highest depth would be 3. Right? And for 2 and 5, the LCA would be 1 and so on. Right? So a brute force method to do this would be, let's say for a um, given query A and B, we firstly find the, find all the ancestors of both the nodes, right? We can do this in O of N and complexity for both the nodes. And the first common node that comes would be the lowest common ancestor, right? Now, each transaction costing big O of N, Time complexity would make the total time complexity to be O of n into Q, right? Which obviously won't work. We need a more efficient method to solve this problem. Now, I'll be using binary lifting in this problem. Now, you need to watch the previous lecture to understand what binary lifting is. And this will be a continuation of that. So, let's say Let's say we have two nodes A and B and, and we know the depth of both of these nodes from the root, right? Let's say we have an array D that stores the depth of each node and there's a common ancestor, let's say X. Now let's say A is at a higher depth than B. Now we can find the difference of depths between a and b by subtracting the d values so d of a minus d of b will give us the let's say let's say d dot this is the difference in the depths of both the nodes now to reach the common ancestor the least common ancestor what we can do is bring the node with a higher depth at the same level or the same depth as the node with the lower depth right so for this we can change a to the d not d not ancestor of a right d not ancestor of a now this we can do in log n complexity as we have seen in the previous video using binary lifting Right. So this is the first step. Now let's say both of them are now at a distance. Let's say this is the x. Let's say this is the LCA x. There's some no nodes about it. And let's say now both of these nodes are at the same depth right let's say the dis the depth from x node to both of these are d dash now we know that x and all of the ancestors of x will be the common ancestors of a and b right and x is the d dash th ancestor of both a and b now what we can do is we can find a way to reach the d dash minus one th ancestor of both of these and then lc would be the parent of this right now let's see how we can do that now we know that we can write any number as a sum of powers of two 
so let's write d dash minus 1 as uh, 2i1 plus 2i2 and so on right these are decreasing powers so this means that the i1 is bit of d minus d dash minus 1 is set i i 2th bit of d dash minus 1 is set and so on right now let's say for some bit k if from each of these nodes if making a jump of 2 to the k 2 to the power k or the 2 to the power k transistors of these nodes are common that means the these are either of these nodes right x or its ancestors so 2 to the power k would be greater than the greatest in these right it would be greater than i i1 but now let's say for some largest k making the 2 to the power k jump does not give me a common ancestor right that would mean that this k which is the largest possible is i i1 right now when i found the i1 or the k i can make a jump from either of these or both of these nodes to the 2 to the power k or 2 to the power i 1 th ancestor and then for the remaining part this become my new d dash minus 1 and i'll do the same thing for this part until this becomes 0 and i have reached my d dash minus 1 th ancestor right which is the parent of which is our lca right so now let's look at the code the pre-processing part would be the same as the previous problem firstly we set the 2 to the power 0th ancestor for each node as the parent then for i equals to 1 to 20 if the 2 to the power i minus 1th ancestor is not minus 1 then this would be the 2 to the power i ancestor like i explained in the previous problem otherwise it would be minus 1 and then we do this for rest of the children of this particular node now we need to find the depth of each of the node right so we do a dfs and we maintain a variable d we set the depth as d and increase it for the next for all the children now for the lca function now if a is at a greater depth than b when we then we swap it to find the difference now we make the levels of both the nodes a and b equal by making d jumps to b like we did in the previous problem right now if a and b are the same node we return a which means we have already reached the lca this case will be when a was the lca of a and b thus we have reached the lca just by covering the difference of depth right otherwise for i equals to 20 till i equals to 0 we find if 2 to the power ith ancestor of a is not equal to 2 to the power ith ancestor of b that means d dash minus 1 is greater than equal to 2 to the power i and we can make the jump we can make i jumps right and this we will do until we reach the nodes which are just below the lca right and after that we return the parent of a now let us look at the whole code so firstly we have an array of vectors and the ancestor array which stores the 2 to the power ith ancestor for each node where i is from 0 to 20 and now we have the depth array also right firstly this is the pre-processing function this is the dfs part to find the depths this is the lca function we take the input we push it in the tree array and then we run the pre-processing function for the first node with the parent as zero and then the dfs function with the first node and the depth initial depth as one then we do the 
query processing for each query and we we'll print the answer so that's it for this video make sure to like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you for watching